think I threw it wrong, but whatever. It's a lot of margin for error. Yeah, I've done it. Watch the trailers. Flash it now. We're gonna do ace mobs, man. I'm, I'm like very Bonecas personalizadas. Olha pra trás, o BCZ tá segurando a faca tarde demais. Mano, no final quem ganhou o jogo? Eu não soquei minha mesa, brother. É... O cara de lado? Boa, pegou de lado. Vai, tá dentro do bombe, tá dentro do bombe, tá dentro do bombe. Tô te falando, mano, tá dentro do bombe, irmão. Confia em mim, tá dentro do bombe, porra. Dentro do bombe, 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 porra. Ô, oh, porra, Michel, dentro do bombe, mano. Isso, trocou de arma. Dentro do bombe, dentro do bombe. Isso. Ah, mano, eu falei dez vezes dentro do bombe, mano. Puta que pariu, Michel. I think they're going A, I think it's yeah, a Yeah, they are, they are, they are, they're rushing A. Nice. Help. Okay, nice. what the okay. fuck? Okay. Woo! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe we wrote them off a little bit too early. It looked yeah. like Valiants were about to run away with this, but fact is... You could even say they're now in the driver's seat. Other fact is, we've seen Valiance win these rounds before. So not out of the realms of possibility, but KNG has found his form, apparently. Two rounds in a row, gonna get back-to-back -back openers across Squeaky Door. And now, although Neno brings in some aggression down ramp to trade, we're still gonna have NTC with a double man advantage. Damage done, and players are low, but in the meantime, the round is over. NTC are just gonna pick it up cleanly. Phelps with three kills in the yard, and that is it. Yeah, no, I'm making this one. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. <laughs> Hit him with something. Hit him with something. Hit him with a question mark or an exclamation point. <laughs> How about three? Nah, uh, that's confusing. I on up, four sets of armor, helmets on most of them. Two CZs, a Deegan, E250, and Neck is gonna use that M4 quite wisely. They can just recycle that now. Neck CT can just pick it up, and actually they might not even need it as Henny rounds the corner, spots it. Um, hello? Hello? Video games? What the fuck just happened? Bah. Oh, that's a grill. I'm super virgin. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> I'm super virgin. Uh, I think they're big. Petit looking for the trade, he'll get it. Knocking on Hobbit, but okay, that's only the start. You still have the 3v4 you're working against here right mm. now. Yeah, still main advantage here from Gambit. Really kind of off the back of that early pick from Mo. They've still just been able to leverage that advantage all the way through the round. And as we get to the last 30 seconds, Petit, with an AWP at Coffins, is going to be responsible for the alone the rotate is so far away. But he's able to deliver two big kills. This buys that extra time for company to move over. They're still not rotating just yet. They're still not sure if it's a commitment to be. Now they're starting to figure it out. And Patty's playing so well. And he gets a third. He's doing incredible work right now on this B-bomb site. After getting destroyed by an HE grenade, as well, so amazing pickup so far from Patty. Now, just a matter of let's see if he can get the ace here. Mir's still trying to defend towards Banana, so in a certain degree, he's blocked himself up. There's even a smoke to just cover the bomb. And there we go. Probably the opportunity that Petit needs to try and go in here, get the defuse off, or get the outright ace. Mir, though, he's coming back in too. Goofy wants to trade him. A lot of damage being done. Mir misses the returning up shot, and Goofy will take him. Nuke is one where smoke's really, you know, like sometimes they're just not useful in, in the same way that they are on other maps. 
Yeah, I, I could see that. Like, especially, like, okay, when it comes to retakes, they can help quite significantly, and maybe if you're going to go for some sort of risky, aggressive play. I'm looking more towards, like, yard. Like, what are you yeah, smoking yeah, yeah. as yard, as a CT? There's Unless you're throwing it deep and trying to push. Yeah. That's pretty much it. And while in this scenario, they're just getting surrounded, picked apart again by this T-side. Valiants are, are looking excellent at the moment. And Neno is still watching T-Roof from Spawn as well. This man has dedication to the passive play. Like... This is, this is 223, thank you guys for the subs, appreciate it. And Sylvia donated $5, but i play your game, you're gonna read it after my man. Um, yeah, I don't know when our fifth is getting announced, honestly. Um, and, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna keep IGLing uh, for our upcoming events, and uh, our fifth for our upcoming events Fire. should be getting announced by, like, the end of the week. Whether it's a stand-in or our permanent fifth is uh, up in there. Shaman all gold, thanks for the sub. I am throwing a grenade. Right. I'll be right back two seconds. Yeah, and again, Inferno is like a map that I feel like is pretty much in the middle of everyone's map pool, so everyone's gonna feel pretty comfortable playing it. In fact, uh, in the from main and they still don't know let this hit so they'll just walk past oblivious to the threat by their side KNG trading back but only for one before impulse is here with the AWP and it's just madness in the yard only FNX left up and Valiant looking confident yeah no <laughs> oh okay FNX transfer onto there there is that individual talent that we speak about and he's now made this interesting he's made this possible this was a chance for valiance to survive this round with four players left alive now i'm even questioning whether they'll survive this round at all it's impulse and there no no utility on any player well other than impulse just picking up a smoke the fact is though his positioning is absolutely perfect and he will take that final frag but still a little bit too close for comfort yes yeah, so many and battles are about this is why we love counter strike But what did he say? I didn't hear that well. Okay, no, so, so he said that. Gambit stop though, it's gonna strike first. Petit ends up getting legged and then forced back where he was traded out anyway by Mir. That brings us into the 4v4. Mir for us now. Mir makes the push too. He's definitely seen Stop go inside of Pit. He used the Molly to get him out, but there comes the surprise. Starkey is able to take him out, but it's a quick trade for Mo. However, now you've got Stop in a good position. Mo just destroyed by Stop as well through the smoke. Leaving only Hobbit in the fight, and he's in a very awkward position, but we'll get caught off by Goo. One try. Bombi. Okay. Sapon, 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 Pilar, Pilar. Ah, mano. No, this guy is. Look at this. Ah, mano. This guy is a fucking ninja, man. What the fuck, man? Igual, si, si matas puente, come puente, boludo. Que el, que es tirar Pero que yo tenía perfil privado. Está certo. They smoked it, so you never. Bro, keep going. Keep going. What do you mean, keep going? There's a smoke there. Come on! They're coming through! Here they come, here they come. Boosted. I can pop you through, Jay. Fucking pop it! Fashion! Oh, my. Oh, oh my let's God. go! Let's go! How nice was that fight? Tell me, it tell me, tell me. It was fucking nice. It was fucking nice. The AC told you to do that. <laughs> Did it. There's Taz dropping some nuclear bombs. Picks up a gun and he's going to take one. That is ridiculous. Quick shot from Taz. Looks to follow up. And he may do so, but Neno saves it. Get out of town. Yeah. Oh, this is... Well, 